iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to install PHP My Admin on 2008 Server R2. Uh, first thing we want to do, we want to get two things. First, you want to go get a MySQL uh, database from MySQL.com. I'm using the community server. You can use whichever one you want, but I'm using community server. It's free. It's real easy. All right. And then you want to go ahead and go to PHP My Admin, and you want to download. Since I'm using on Windows, I'm using Server 2008. I did the English zip. You want to go ahead and get that. All right, uh, requirement, you must have PHP, of course, PHP installed on your server. Um, if you don't have PHP installed on your server, your web server, you can watch my tutorial on PHP, uh, how to install it on the IIS, and uh, you can watch that and get that configured and then come back to this video. But if you have it installed, we're going to go ahead and do the installation. It's pretty simple. So we're going to go ahead and go to start. And I'm going to put it in a directory that I want it in. So here goes my root directory. I'm going to just make a folder. I'm just going to call it SQL. You want to go ahead and the from the from the PHP my admin site, which you downloaded, you want to go ahead and open that up, unzip it. I want to go ahead and copy all these files in there. All right. Okay, cool. Now we can go to start and explore. All right, I'm going to go ahead and test to see if it's working. So we go ahead and put localhost. Slash SQL because that's the name of the folder I put it in. All right, so it's working. Um, this is the first step. Okay, the next step we want to go ahead and install our MySQL. So let's go ahead and click on that. We we'll go through this wizard. Do a typical install. Go ahead and launch it. Do a detailed configuration. I'm doing a server machine. I'll put multifunctional. Keep it a regular path. Go ahead and press next. All right, here goes your root password. So you go ahead and make a root password. Please remember this password. All right, press next. Press execute. I'll be back once it's finished. Press finish. All right. Now we need to do one more thing. So we go to start. Go back to that directory where my PHP admin files are at. We're going to go ahead and click on this file. If you don't have some kind of text editor, you can use just regular notepad to open it. All right, so we're up in here. Um, if you're not good with PHP, you can just do something like copy these two lines like this.
and go ahead and press control V all right now we want to go ahead and, and change this we put user and then we're gonna go ahead and put that root or if you made a user you can put the user's name but I'm going to put a root in here because don't that's the only one we made so far is the root all right I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one put password and put the password of your root in here I just put regular password for mine all right since I'm on a Windows server I'm just gonna use MySQL I just use MySQL I don't need the eye on it since I'm on a Windows server all right you go ahead and save it all right so we just save that file right now it says sample in it so we want to go ahead and rename this um if you still have if you don't have your extension showing you go ahead and and, and show it you don't have to but you go ahead and rename this all right there we go you just delete the sample part and you keep it just like that now we go back And you go ahead and put your username, which was root, and put the password you pick. And there you go. I'm up in here. And this is the basic install. Uh, if you want to do more stuff, you can go ahead and change that config file we're in. But I just showed you the basic install. You can do. You can still do whatever with this basic install I did. Um, you can create a table or or a new database or wherever the case is. So you can create a table. You can do everything you can. Uh, so you go ahead and play with it. I have other tutorials on how to configure it much better than this. But this is the basic install. I'm your host Rashad. Thanks for watching.